Okay, 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 okay. Now let's talk about Caitlin Clark. But before we get started, I want to thank y'all for tuning in to the Gertie Mac Show, taking y'all time to subscribe to the channel, liking and sharing my videos. I really appreciate all that. Now let's go. So Caitlin Clark of the Indiana Fever has had an amazing first half of her WNBA professional career. Um, she broke all kind of records. You know, she uh, speaks very well when she do uh, media and all of that. And for the most part, um, you know, she says she kind of blocks out all of the social media stuff. Remember that because that's going to come back up later. Well, it seems like Caitlin Clark then got herself ground up into some internet beef like hamburger patties. And we're just going to jump straight into it. I'm not going to hold you. So it all started on X about this post right here. So Caitlin Clark was on this um, paper post or whatever, something with Joe Kent will protect women and girls. Now, I don't know what this is all about, but I'm going to tell you what this whole situation is about because Caitlin Clark, she had time today to be petty because she definitely, you know, she took time out to entertain someone who was talking crazy about her. And Caitlin Clark kind of, you know, be chill, but she had time today. Let's go. So this post right here, so this person right here came back. This is the person that Caitlin Clark was out here tussling, hustling with. And the person said, of course, she's on a Republican poster. But the person came back and said this. This when it got real. It got cut and dry like a sore. She said, I hate her and all the negativity she's brought to the WNBA so bad. Y'all don't even know. So this, whoever this is, don't like Caitlin Clark. She said Caitlin Clark and brought a whole lot of problems like geometry to the WNBA. Is it the spotlight? What is it? Let's keep going. So, Kaylin Clark got wind of this person talking crazy about her on X. So, Kaylin Clark said, hey, I got time to be petty today. So, Kaylin Clark went and followed the um, lady who was talking about her. And so the lady responded basically like, I don't be on, she quoted what Caitlin Clark said before. I don't be on Instagram. I don't see nothing. The lady said that in quotation because Caitlin Clark clearly, somebody sent it to her, saw what she was saying. So Caitlin Clark went to go be petty and started following the person who was talking crazy. Let's keep going. Somebody came back a Caitlin Clark fan, an Indiana Fever fan, they jumped in here to say, hey, let me get in here and jump off the top turn buckle like Macho Man. Ooh, yeah. And come on here and defend Caitlin Clark. They said, congratulations on getting noticed by your biggest obsession and getting the Caitlin Clark follow because Caitlin Clark followed the lady through this whole ordeal. So then let's keep going. The lady came back and responded about Caitlin Clark following her. She said, this girl lurking on my account. She knew exactly what she be doing. She knows her fans are racist as if. She knows she's been using her white woman tears terrorizing the WNBA. I'm not trying to take over nobody, but I don't think Caitlin Clark been doing that. Caitlin Clark just want to play basketball and that's it. But I don't know why Caitlin Clark even entertained this today, but she did though. So she says she don't be on the internet, but I guess during this WNBA break, she had time to come on here and get involved like a parent. Let's keep going. Somebody else came on and said, you know, cause the person responded about Caitlin Clark following her. Somebody, one of Caitlin Clark fans said, no, nah, she wanted you to have that attention your lame ass was craving for so bad. So then the lady, somebody else, a Caitlin Clark fan came back and said, she unfollowed her because Caitlin Clark eventually did unfollow this lady and kept it moving. 
and one of her fans said she unfollowed her. LMAO, she said, your five minutes of fame are over. What they say that for? Because then the person came back and said even more stuff about this whole Caden Clark drama. She said, enjoy the fame quotations. Mind you, I don't care that much and didn't notice she followed me until someone else mentioned it. Now, they was over here going back and forth. I think it's kind of smoothed out by now. But they were just going on and on and on and on. Now, like I said, I'm surprised that Caitlin Clark even got involved this far. You know, I guess she just wanted to follow the person just to show her, I see you talking, or whatever it is, her or him. I see you talking about me. So I'm going to follow you just for a little bit. Just give you a little attention about your post. Hey, people are going to have opinions, like I say. When it comes to Caden Clark, she has a spotlight. Everybody loves her. You know what I'm saying? Everybody everybody loves Caden Clark. But you're going to have some people out there that don't. A small group of people like a decimal, they don't. Everybody's not going to agree with who your favorite is. Now, we talk about Chris's sides. Get on that for a minute. Everybody still want Chris's sides to get to the nearest unemployment office and stand in line like a soldier. They don't want her to be the coach coming back for the second half of the season. Well, I'm here to tell you, people, she's going to be there. But it's going to be interesting to see how everything unfolds like a wallet. Because if it don't, in that fever, Lynn Dunn, they're going to have a big decision to make. But y'all get in the comments tell me what y'all think about this whole thing. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Like and share this video. And don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can be notified when I drop another video. And also follow my social media. At Gertie Mac 15. Holla.